Hey, Jason, appreciate you making some time for us here. Uh, I guess just in the short time that you played alongside Jeff Carter today at practice, what did you learn about what it's going to take to be a complimentary piece on a line with him? And then uh, just to clear one thing up, were you the guy playing the off wing today or was that McCann? Um, yeah, I was on my offside today. Um, it was good to play with them. Um, you know, I thought uh, there's a lot of speed on that line, which I think is, is going to be really good. I thought Karts was really good up the middle. I thought he did a good job today, kind of lugging the puck up through the middle with speed and kind of keeping the defenseman inside. I, I think it's really tough for defensemen to try to, you know, honor that speed from the middle. Um, and then when he's able to kick that puck out wide to, to Canner and myself, it's uh, it definitely makes it hard for defensemen to try to play those pucks. So I think it, it, it has a makeup of a good line as long as we use our speed and just get pucks on net and try to keep things simple. Jenna Harner. Jason, for Saturday's game against Buffalo, with it being the joint pride game between the two of you guys, um, you're the you can play team ambassador. Just what does that mean to you to be able to be that role um, for this team? Yeah, it, it's special to me. It, it means a lot to me and it's something that, uh, you know, I think it's great that we're teaming up with Buffalo to do this. Um, it's it's the first of its kind. And, um, you know, I think more teams throughout the league are going to start adopting this model and um, you know, I think it, it just shows, you know, as, as much as we battle on the ice and, and are against each other within the division and throughout the season, you know, that we can come together for a common cause and, and try to make sure that we're shining light on, on, uh, something that needs to be spoken about and need to be brought up in, in multiple conversations. And, you know, I know it's something that's come up in our locker room and, and been discussed, and I think it needs to continue to be that way in, in our room and, and throughout dressing rooms in the, in the league. Jeff Hawthorne. Jason, Mike told us the other day that need to remember that they haven't accomplished or you guys haven't accomplished anything yet. You need to keep that right mindset. What's the talk about continuing to play the way you guys did when you rebounded last week? Yeah. I mean, we got to make sure that we come out strong to, you know, end this, uh, this final stretch that we have. So we got to make sure we're starting well and, um, you know, try to get carts in the, you know, into the game as quick as possible as far as our line goes. But as a team, we got to make sure we're playing the right way. And, you know, we've done that for a, a good stretch here. We've had a few games that we were off a bit, but, um, you know, I thought our last few were pretty good. So we got to make sure we get the tempo up after this little break and, and get after these guys on Thursday. Rob Rossi. Jason, I'm wondering from when you uh, played like when you got here last year and, and, and in those games and compared to what you've seen this year, what what the difference is with this team in terms of its overall defense? Sorry. Um, well, I think a big negative was getting Mike Matheson in the lineup. <laughs> uh, no, you know, I, I think our, our D's, uh, you know, really good puck moving defenseman we have this year. I think it's been awesome, you know, how, how well our defensemen move, uh, not only skating, but just moving the puck. Um, it's been amazing as forwards, you know, being able to, to know that they're joining the rush on every play and, and being a part of it. And, uh, it's been good for us. Matt Fensel. Hey, Jason, I got a question about the power play. Uh, you guys have been able to create chances by having the flankers gather the puck high in the zone and kind of get downhill and create chances off that. What's different this year um, compared to maybe last year that has allowed that to be such an effective, um, for lack of a better word, weapon for you? It's just something we've wanted to implement and try to work on. Um, you know, we've put a lot of work into that in practice. Um, you know, a lot of that is on the defenseman up top, you know, being, a, being really patient with the puck and holding on to it as long as they can. You know, if, if those defensemen hold onto the puck and, and hold that middle forward, it's really, really tough for him to get back onto that forward coming downhill at the net. So it makes it a little bit easier on the forwards that way. And again, it's just something we've really practiced and emphasized this year. So it's been good for us. We'll take three more, Jim Colony. Yeah, Jason, you just kind of casually said, yep, I was on the off wing. Um, how often have you done that and how comfortable you are? Are you playing that off wing spot? I played there, um, you know, uh, I, I, I'm good amount, you know, a decent amount. I'd say when I was in Minnesota, we had we had a lot of left-handed players in Minnesota, so we had guys flopping from left to right, um, you know, throughout the throughout the season. So I, I've had some experience there. Um, obviously, the majority of it has been on the left side, um, but it's something that I'm comfortable with, and, and something that you know there will be a few adjustments for me come game time and defensive zone. Excuse me, defensive zone and, and some other things, but. Um, nothing that, uh, you know, we'll just take a couple shifts and a couple plays to kind of get, uh, get used to it again. Dave Molinari. Uh, thanks for speaking with us, Jason. Not that you guys are through your in injury crisis yet, but 
was there ever a point when you had so many guys out that you wondered if you guys would be able to continue to win games and collect points? Well, it makes it really tough when you have that many guys out. I mean, from the start of the year with seemed like, you know, our, our top six defense out, um, you know, to at this middle point of the year, we had, I don't know, what was it? Five of our top nine that were out. So um, it definitely makes it tough, but I think it shows the character we have in this room, the leadership we have with the guys and, um, you know, that next man up mentality. And I think they did a great job keeping sure, you know, keeping up and making sure that everything, um, you know, was on point for our game and, you know, got a lot of wins and played really well. So, now that Gino and Cappy are out um, and Tans, you know, we're, we're all trying to make sure that we pick up the slack elsewhere and, and keep playing. Last question, Chris Adamski. Or anything or but just your initial impressions of his personality or how he's fitting in the room and, and you know, just to be in alignment with him. Or did he kind of uh, he's a veteran been around for a while. What kind of impression do you make you, on you guys? He's an awesome guy. I mean, the, the little bit I got to know him so far, he's a super nice guy, very talkative. Um, you know, he, he wants to learn the system pretty quick. I mean, he's obviously been around the game an extremely long time. He's had a, an unbelievable career. And um, I got to play against him quite a bit playing in the Western Conference. And he was always a, a handful to play against. So we're happy to have him on our team. He's going to add a lot to us, not only from the veteran side and the locker room side, but, but uh, on the ice. And I think it'll be great for us.